Oh, hey. Ever since I was four, I've always had a question. Why can't there be a microwave that makes things instantly cooler? Well, to answer that question, we're gonna have to look into thermodynamics. At the heart of it is entropy, a quantity that measures the amount of disorder in a system. So this will be low entropy, and this will be somewhere of high entropy. So many people moving around in random di- Hey! And the same goes for particles. Specifically, scientists define disorder in terms of microstates, the different ways particles can arrange themselves while still looking the same overall. More possible microstates means more disorder. Now let's take that further. The second law of thermodynamics states that the entropy of the universe is always increasing. But why? To answer this, we'll need a chessboard and some pennies. Imagine two blocks, hot A and cold B, in contact. Now each penny is a unit of energy on a square, which is an atom. A starts with 12 energy units, but B only with 6. Now randomly spreading them to form microstates, we observe that most of the time, the energy splits evenly. There are so many ways for the heat to be spread evenly, but only a couple of ways for heat to flow from cool to hot, if you look at the distribution curve. As an extreme example, if we add 32 coins and they're all on one side, that's only one possible microstate compared to the millions if we add 16 on each side. Thus, heat flows from hot to cool not because objects want to, but because of probability. Energy spreading leads to more possible arrangements of particles. So back to our question. To build a cool wave, heat would have to flow from cool to hot, decreasing entropy. Thus, for this to happen, we can wait until the end of the universe for that 1 in 1 followed by 10 billion zeros chance, or... We can use something much colder than our food. A dry ice acetone bath at minus 78 C. So does this break science, or is it just thermodynamics at work?